In this section, we're going to be looking at Dijkstra's algorithm. Now, Dijkstra's algorithm allows you to find the shortest distance from one point in a network to another point in the network. And as we'll see, it actually allows you to find the shortest distance from that point to any of the points in the network. And that's just uh, one of the uh, outputs of uh, actually having performed Dijkstra's algorithm. Now, um, so the situations that we're going to be dealing with are quite often uh, distances between towns or cities or um, something like that. Okay, they don't necessarily have to be that, but they could be points around a college, for example. Um, but what happens is that as we perform the algorithm, we consider each vertex. And in considering each vertex, we need some way of labeling it. And so for each vertex, what we do is we have a box, a rectangular box that looks something like this. The top left box, this is where we put our order of labeling. OK, so we're going to start off um, at zero and then this will count up until we hit uh, the final vertex. OK, uh, in the order that we consider them. Um, in the bottom box, this is our working values box. So these are the values that we consider along the way that could be our shortest distance uh, up to that point. OK, now, as we work through, this box will fill up. Um, so it might start off with uh, 20. For example, so 20 might be in there. And then we might find a shortest distance, which is 18. Now, some people will put a line through the 20 and have the 18 there. Now, you will see in mark schemes that they don't cross through the values. Now, the reason for that is that we want to make sure that the numbers that you're putting into that box are legible. What we want to avoid are people doing this, okay, where you're scribbling out or erasing working values that have to be there. So we don't want that to happen. If you put a single line through the 20, it should still remain legible. But you might just want to leave it alone. Um, and then once you've got your smallest working value, then the smallest working value goes up here, and that is in your final value. So in the top right uh, will be your final value, which will be your smallest working value. OK, and we're going to have a box like this for each of the vertices as we run through the algorithm. OK, now uh, different exam boards might have slightly different ways of annotating uh, with Dijkstra's algorithm, but this is the way that we use for OCR-MEI.